Today I'm visiting Chichen Itza. It's the famous Mayan temple that we have right there. And uh, I'm checking it out to see if there is any potential to shoot boudoir photos here because obviously it's one of the most touristic spots. In a professional word, we're doing location scouting, which I usually don't do. I'm more of a run and gun. Let's see what happens. Let's keep my creative brain entertained kind of guy. But uh, today we're doing it the professional way and it is gonna be a struggle. I will uh, have to or think of a very creative ID to be able to do it with that amount of tourist surround or have to figure out a way to get it really early or really late. I don't know, I'll have to discuss it with the tour guides. So let's check the rest of the tour. So I fully accepted the guy to give me a huge fine and involve the police but he just had me delete the footage and put the drone into a locker so I have nothing to show but to be honest it was my first time flying a drone in two years so it was pretty shitty footage maybe he did all of you a favor by deleting that footage Today we learned that it's illegal to fly a drone around these structures also that I don't need to buy a souvenir because the bad sunburn that I'm taking home is gonna make me remember this place for sure. And uh, thirdly, that it's gonna be impossible to find any time of day without any tourists after talking to the guide. So I will come back with a model, but I'm just gonna have to think of an idea that I can do with a lot of people on the photo. I'll try to even use it as an advantage. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna leave this place. I'll see you guys later. Hola! It's been over a month that I'm back at the Chichen Itza pyramid. And uh, yeah, I don't know why it took so long, but it was worth the wait because now I have my favorite little doggy, Dika Sobaka, Hola. with me to model for the photos that I had in mind. Usually when people come here, they try to edit out all the people or try to capture a moment when there's nobody in the frame. Well, I'm here to do the exact opposite, which is having a lot of people in the frame, because that kind of makes it more of a sexy challenge uh, to make a sexy photo with a lot of people, like public nudity, kind of. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So let's try it out. Good. I'm so depressed and I don't know the reason, just hope I feel better. Hey, my reflection, and I look at you, all I see is perfection. I'm so depressed and I don't know the reason, just hope I feel better. Don't know the reason, just hope I feel better. You said that you love me, don't know if it's the truth Hit it when you're not here, love it when I'm with you You say you don't trust me, all the shit we've been through Why you always upset? I don't really get you I don't really get you Why should I always gotta be so stressful? There was about two months between me doing the location scouting at Chichen Itza and me coming back with Alessia to shoot our photos but still I got caught by the security guards. They made me go to this little office again and made me delete all the footage. So my luck at Chichen Itza uh, was not the best, but... Twice. Right? Twice. <laughs> but on my way out of this little security office, I realized that they made me delete it just like a single delete in the camera. And I thought, what if I can recover the footage at home with some recovery software. So I raced home to try and recover all that footage and thank God I was able to recover all of it, including the video footage, because they made me delete uh, the photos and all of the videos, which kind of had upskirt uh, moments and I was able to recover everything. So that's really, really, really cool. Uh, so that's a great tip. It's kind of 
naughty advice because uh, if you ever get caught and have to delete something because you were trespassing or you were shooting somewhere where it wasn't allowed just keep in mind that you can kind of recover it so usually these security guards are not that tech savvy that they realize this so that's a little inside tip for you guys this way i was able to still show you all of the cool stuff we shot there Unfortunately, I was not able to shoot all of the IDs I had, but luckily we did have the time to shoot a whole bunch. So I hope you like the photos. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you wanna see more of these videos, subscribe to the channel. So that's about it for today. See you guys on the next one. JC and Alessia out. Oh, and what are interesting, how many people also think that it was a reason to kick us out because of this upskirt moments. Yeah, people just, yeah, uh, just very easily take offense to nude bodies. And I remember that the security guard was saying like, uh, yeah, it's disrespectful that you're shooting porn. And I was like, this is obviously not porn. I even made like a comment. Is this the kind of porn you watch at home? I don't think so. Um, and then he was like, uh, yeah, but the structure is like art. And then I said, yeah, but her body is also art. So I was kind of making my point to him, which is funny. And I also believe in it. I don't see anything wrong with uh, nudity, nor is, well, the thing was, it wasn't nude. She was wearing uh, underwear. It was just shot in a way that you could see the underwear. And I remember even telling him, um, when he said there's a lot of children around, I said, yeah, but these children go to the beach and there they will see her in bikini or even topless women. So it just doesn't really make any sense. It's a weird kind of limitation that people put in their minds as if in one place you can see a little bit of nudity in another not and then hypocrisy because everybody watches porn. So it's just, this is the whole point of the channel. We try to bring some open-mindedness to the world and make you see that if you do things with respect and love for each other, there is nothing wrong with some nudity. So JC and Alessia, out. Skirt, skirt.